In this short video, we're going to learn how you can integrate ln2x. This is actually very simple when you know what the trick is. So we're going to do the integral of ln of 2x dx. And we can think about this as ln2x times dx. Hence, we can integrate this by parts. And therein is the first trick. But we can also note that ln2x can be broken down into ln2 plus ln x. You know the property when logs are added, they're multiplied. Hence we can do this. And this simplifies things. So we're now doing the integral of ln2 plus ln x dx. And we're thinking of this and this as being times. Which they are. Um, so the formula we've got here is the integral of u dv is equal to u v minus the integral of v du. Now we want to make this as simple as possible so if we choose u equal to ln2 plus ln x the derivative of this which we're going to call du is just going to be 1 over x. The derivative of this is nothing, this is just a number and the, we should know that the derivative of ln x is 1 over x and we choose this dv, see we've got u is this, dv is this, dv equals dx, we integrate to get v, the integral of dx is of course x, so we can substitute all of this into this expression up here, so we get that the integral of ln 2x is equal to ln 2 plus ln x times x minus the integral of 1 over x times x. Unsurprisingly these things cancel so we are left with ln 2 plus ln x times x minus the integral of 1. The integral of 1 is of course just x so we get ln 2 plus ln x times x minus x. We could take x and um, factorize so we get x ln2 plus ln x minus 1 and we add the plus c. Of course there should be a plus c here. If plus c comes from this integral. We don't bother with a plus c here because this plus c will include everything you need. So that's how you do the integral of ln2. It's extremely easy when you see it but perhaps spotting this property and this property may not be immediately obvious to you. So hopefully this has been helpful to you and thank you for watching.